you just gather in a little bit. You don't want to block the general public, do you? You don't want to get them upset, you know. <laughs> Okay, right, here we are, got a bit of shade and of course with the backdrop of the festival centre. Um, and I thought I would mention Don Dunn for Mitch's Playhouse. Uh, it's interesting, I have to be a little careful what I say here. Um, with, with, with the uh, dancing, I, I laughed, uh, not the marching dancing, Peter Duncan referred to them as the dancing dancing, <laughs> which I rather like because I love alliteration. So I thought the dancing dancing was rather good. So in this year where we, we are remembering the fourth anniversary of gay law reform, uh, Don is part of that because he was a great reformist premier here in South Australia for, for many things, for many things, which I won't go into. Um, and of course, um, when he died in 1999, there was a celebration of life here at the Festival Centre. It was packed and he was acknowledged because he was a great supporter of the arts. In fact, you know, he did um, what is now the State Theatre Company. He founded that in 1972 and it was the first State Theatre Company in Australia. So he was very, very um, prominent in supporting the arts, uh, which some politicians are not. And, and of course, there have been queer folk who have been directed that company. Chris Westwood, Christine Westwood, who was a gay liver back in the 70s, was artistic director from 94 to 97. And indeed, um, Catherine Fitzgerald, who was artistic uh, a convener, director of the Feast Festival for a number of years, was also a, an associate director in 2011. So we have associations with the uh, State Theatre Company, um, indeed. Uh, but what, what's quite interesting uh, about Don, uh, as Peter Duncan said, he didn't really drive that law reform. I believe he, he did a lot of work in the background, but it was really Peter Duncan and, and a private member's bill. So, you know, is Don a gay icon? And the thing that that really struck me at the celebration of life, you know, there was no mention when they when they dealt with all the wonderful reforms of Don's era. They did not mention homosexual reform um, at all, and I thought that was um, a grave oversight. Um, and, and of course, the fact to. Um, 70s liberationists thought it was so important to come out and declare your sexuality. And although Don was a great supporter of the queer community and particularly in retirement over many years till 1999, he didn't actually ever um, come out as whether he was um, polyamorous, bisexual or whatever. Now I think that's still a, a, a good label to come out of. So, so unreconstructed gay liberationists still have issues with that. And so I refer to Dina Hodges' book, uh, Intimacy and Liberty with the lovely pink shorts. And there's a person in the audience today, Jamie Gardner from Melbourne who's here, and my great friend Will Sergio, and they're both on the same page in 302, but they're not on the same page. <laughs> <laughs> yes, um, I just thought I'd share this with you. Um, it says here, one of those persons was a human rights law expert, Jamie Gardner, who acknowledged that South Australia's completely non-discriminatory homosexual law reform was the first in the English common law world. In an article titled, Thank You, Don Dunstan, he praised Dunstan's groundbreaking work in legal and institutional change and explained what um, is critical here is, to, is, is our appreciation of Don is that he shepherded this revolutionary form through on principle as part and parcel of his consistent uh, commitment to human rights and the dignity of the human spirit. It is necessary to point this out because John himself came later to fear that if he were to be labelled as gay, this would enable the enemies of freedom, equality and democracy, his enemies and our enemies, to trivialise both these values and his work for them. And then the author goes on. 
a single exception to this community's expression of praise and gratitude was a complainant by an unreconstructed <laughs> 1970s gay liberationist <laughs> who decried Johnson's refusal to come out publicly as gay. And the quote here, Call me old-fashioned, but I hold to the 70s motto that the personal is political. To say, <laughs> to say that one keeps one's pride, public and private lives separate is a nonsense and a cop-out. You are wrong, 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 Mr Gardner. <laughs> <laughs> so it is just interesting. There are two very different perspectives, aren't there? And I thought yeah. it was worth sharing with you. But whatever we say, John was an extraordinary man, an extraordinary premier, and, and did wonderful things for this state. And in this week, when we acknowledge gay law reform in particular, the 40th anniversary, I think it is really important to acknowledge Don and the work he did do for the queer community on retiring from politics. Is it true, Gertrude, that at that um, memorial service, Don's partner of the last 10 years of his life wasn't mentioned? Yes, and there's quite, thank you, thank you, May. There's some quite controversy about that, and Stephen Cheng, Don's partner for the last 12 years of his life. <laughs> is, it, is it true that Don's partner of the last two wasn't recognised at the service? That is true, and there's some debate about why that happened and some difference of opinion. But what I can tell you, that Lower Joe O'Donoghue, the great Aboriginal rights uh, uh, advocate and uh, a person uh, who, who spoke on behalf of Aboriginal rights and what Dunn had done for Aboriginal and Indigenous people. She said to me, and she said it to me, not Will, she said, Gertrude, if I had known that Stephen would not be acknowledged, I would have put it in my speech, even though it wasn't part of my brief, because family in the Indigenous culture is so important, and not to recognise family was a terrible oversight. But that, yeah. That and also, true. while oh. I was in Parliament, there was an amendment passed to the Superannuation Act to make sure that Stephen couldn't get any entitlement to Don oh. Super. Yes. <laughs> and that still stands. I mean, yeah, that, that, that was. Yeah, yeah.